you have to like help them. You have to help the people that are trying to get killed. Or they're somebody's trying to kill them. They're not trying to get killed, of course. Subtitles on or off, guys? On? Probably on. No, no, no. Not a 911 operator. You're like a, a radio, like a radio show, like a music. V sync off. Why is that even ever turned on? Frame limit zero. I want to. I just want to look at a frozen screen. Control options. It's fine. Everything at hundred percent. Sure. All right. Shall we? Dark web horror game? No. What was that, Tim? Dark web horror game. Like you had to find a game under the dark web. Welcome to the game. Move with left stick, move camera with right stick. And that makes sense. Press RD to pick up objects. Object interaction. You can hold two objects, swap objects between hands with LB. Drop objects B, throw objects Y, hold the place object, release when in a valid location. Oh shit! Double fisted up on a Tuesday. It's actually a Sunday. It's fucking, what's it called? St. Patrick's Day. Any killers that have frequency in this game? I sure hope not as well. Am I throwing that away or am I keeping that? It's full. Don't I want to drink it? Okay. Welcome to the game is not impossible to... I don't know. What is that? I've never heard of it. These graphics are kind of cool, though. Oh, I can crouch. What? Welcome to the game. And that's a scary game? Can I drink this? Inspecting objects. Press X to begin inspecting. Move L to rotate object while inspecting. Press X to exit. Fam. K fam. OK fam. Wait a second. Okay. Opening doors. Hold RT and move. Okay. Oh, that's better. What does any of that say? Do you guys speak gibberish? It's a real edgy game? Okay. Soma, what's that? Might as well. Community speaks gibberish. <laughs> yeah, can we? Can you get in here? Translate this for us. It won't let me place it. Oh. What? All right.
right, that was a pretty good game. It was a little short, but. Do you, uh, do you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or I don't know, how. Forrest, is this a joke? No, I. I My name is Forrest with two R's. Oh. Forrest. Okay, well, I was thinking you'd finally to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats. Dude, yeah, this is gonna be something cats. bad is gonna happen here. Not dogs. She's gonna get murdered through that mirror. That That's kind of cool. I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Sure. Do we have to do these checks every time? And Tony, what do you mean by that, Spud? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to. Do I need to turn around to use the, the DJ desk? Uh, guys, I fucking need a tutorial. I don't know how to use a DJ desk. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rinse. Tubular rinse. With record playing. Record playing. Uh, okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Let's play Blast Processor 1986. Blast Processor. Can I? Can I? Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick yeah, it on the Yeah, yeah, Peggy. I fucking realized that, okay? I'm trying to put it on the turn, the churn table. Do I not have a record? The record box is on the left, and the record player is on the right. Pick a record and stick it on the turntable. <laughs> All right, fuck point. you, man, boss processor. We're gonna go stab in the light. Stab in the twilight, knife and easy. You're listening to OKFM in the morning, 1087, The Fart Machine. <laughs> How do I fucking turn this on? How do I put this on? Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Yes, Peggy, I know. Chat, am the I? Record box is on the left, and the record player is on the I'm right. using a controller. Take a record and stick it on the turntable. Oh, you know and what it is? Play. Text panels enabled. There's a button. Oh, it's L L trigger. Okay. Got it. There we go. Okay, I had to hit L trigger the whole time. That's it. Great. Now turn it off. Yes, ma'am. All right. Up next. You guys like '80s vibes? I like I like '80s vibes. We'll be waiting to take your call on line one. Line one. Oh, speaking of a movie, there are things like this. There's a movie called uh. I don't know the name of. Never mind. Line one is the leftmost button. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah. It's a riot. <laughs> Great. And button two works just the same. So. That is weird, Tim. To the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. The Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? Press for Peggy? Now, come on. I'd be Peggy spamming button. that button if you know what I mean. <laughs> on the phone line. I labeled it for you. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, uh! Forrest. Sorry oh, shit. I made you such an unfun turkey. Chewy, thanks for the 10 months, dude. Now, am I? Okay. Welcome Are we back. <laughs> Sound blaster next. <laughs> Maybe. That's Maybe, bro. No, I actually, it was on Amazon Prime. Somebody may know the, t the title. Front of the desk to the right. Okay, Peggy, give me a second. I'm talking to chat. Otherwise known in the 80s as the, the fucking radio show listeners. So, so somebody is on fucking Amazon Prime. The premise is like uh, these two high schoolers who run a local radio show in like Nevada or New Mexico or something. And... Um, there's like a weird noise on the radio and it's like kind of sci-fi alien vibes. 
but it's it's really cool. The cinematography is really cool and some really good dialogue and it rem- it's kind of reminded me of this already, although not the, the dialogue part. It's not called the, va- the Vast of Night. To the, right. the Vast of Night is what it's called. The Vast of Night. What'd you say, Peggy? I actually don't. Actually, don't know what she was talking it's about. The thing covered in buttons. Oh, this, yeah. Hey. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. Oh, we can do a All fart right, or something. Done. Just the volume sliders left. Can I get a we banana slip? Pretty much everything. Oh, I get to be a freaking. Let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Roger that. Sliders should be right in front of you, like directly in front. I'm changing it, am I not? All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Oh, that's my overall master volume. <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Yeah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. You're so now, quirky, Forrest. Let's get the show started. After Shall the we? Our first segment is Guess That Scream. Guess that scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't oh. blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh! Okay, you're live in three, two. One eighty nine point sixteen. Good evening, guys. Greg. This, this is your host, Force Nash. You're listening to 18916 The Scream. I have a better voice than him. Start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show. I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. Guess that scream. Woo! Everybody goes crazy. Woo! Here's how it works I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and. Guess what does that mean? Guess a scream. How would you guess a scream? We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they uh-huh. stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? Jesus. Good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you oh. have to be your own tape Sheesh. guy. Sheesh, I'll be my oh, tape guy. I, yesterday. I got it right here. Don't worry, Peggy. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. True, Peggy. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic. So I won't, are you serious? I won't do it. I hate what I've become. Personally, I'd fucking do it. So I'm just going to I'm going to answer everything as if it was me. So, I'd personally I'd scream into the mic. I used to go out all across America and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. I wouldn't do it with that attitude though. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. All right. Oh, God. Do I get to scream into my mic? Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close and then call in to guess that scream. The perturbed Yeti scream, the falling from cliff scream, the drowning scream. I'm going perturbed Yeti. Okay, Forrest, not bad. Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win. Who's going to guess the perturbed Yeti? Maze, maze, and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239. K-Fam. K-Fam. While you get dialing. All right, let's play some of this. uh, What was it called again? Stab in the Twilight. Should I introduce the song? Some responses have a time limit, but it might be better not respond in situations. Yes. Funky 
It's groovy. Stab in the twilight by Knife and Easy. I want to have. I want to be the one doing the voice acting. What's up, Crab? Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Oh, they're trying to make us like Peggy so that when she dies, we'll be sad. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Time to turn the music off. Call coming in on line one. The scream. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? I see you've been enjoying it. Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. Leslie Harper. Nine one one operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Whoa. Are you calling to guess that scream? Slow night? Shouldn't you be working? Um, I would personally say there's probably an emergency. Why are you calling? But I'll go Leslie. slow night. I guess it must be a slow night for crime. What's up, Flappy? If you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. Oh. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, <laughs> I really don't think this it's is It's in my contract. You should call the sheriff. Are you serious? I mean, I believe him. If you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Whoa! Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. Sheriff Matthews. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Is this live? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but <laughs> smoked that fraud. Where are the other officers? Anyone else at the station? I mean, yeah, where are the other officers? I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to? It's do? at the highest it can be. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three, but Officer Gunderson is on leave. <laughs> Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Is it quiet for you guys? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. Is this all live on the radio? But I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. Oh. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. I'm thinking that too, Ma. You leave while there's a murderer on the loose. Who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. What? <laughs> this is a bad idea, but I mean, I... If she's already done it, you can count on me. You can count on me. Uh, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Forrest. I mean, a lot of these dialogue options are, I feel like, are gonna are gonna reach the same destination, you know? Okay. Yeah, I can't increase anymore, but. True. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. <laughs> he clocked the fuck out, yeah. <laughs> and besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Ooh, okay. Nice. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. 
There's got to be another No, way I haven't, in. Flappy. Try to break down the door and uh, find another way into the cell. Find another set of keys, perhaps? Yeah. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Check the officer's desk. Check Sheriff Matthews. Check Sheriff Matthews. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. Uh oh. One second. <laughs> yeah, Matt. She's the only dispatcher as well in the entire town. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and. Oh. Please don't stare at me. I. Uh oh. Wait, that might be Is she gonna die? I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? How are we feeling? I can't handle this all night. I think we can handle this. I'm quitting KFM if this is a prank. I mean, I think we can handle this. Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. Something bad's about to happen, but sure. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. We'll head to my car. <laughs> I'm back. All he cared about Deputy is the fried dough. Is, still out cold. is that supposed to be I like a... In the car with me to get funnel cake? If the killer came back now... Martinez would be a sitting duck. You leaving? We're on our own. It's the right thing to do. You're, I mean, I guess it's the it's the right thing yeah. to do, right? We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as. I what? My car. My car is on fire. What do you mean it's on fire? It's like a flame. <laughs> what does he mean? What did he mean, what did he mean by that? <laughs> Wait. What? Oh, we heard that whistle earlier. No way. This can't be. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. For <laughs> first. It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? He's what? dead. Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Yeah, Matt. Do you think he attacked That's Sheriff what... Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming to... Wow, Peggy. Great deduction. Leslie, stay inside and lock the door. Right. Oh, I had to say that right away. She hammering the door down? He probably slashed the tires. He shouldn't take a police cruiser. I think you need to stay put and hide in the station. You should be safe in there. Maybe? I don't know. I need to go get help. what if he gets in? What if he Yeah, but she probably slashed the tires. If you run, he's just gonna catch you. Think kind of thing. Think she just yeah. dies if you don't say it in time? Maybe, Let's Matt. If Martinez has any guts, just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and yes, got him. Keys for squad car. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. And well, it's not the first thing I said. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Take his gun. Take, take either. He probably doesn't have any bullets because he shot them all, right? So maybe Martinez has bullets. Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Are you out of here, Mons? Good night, buddy. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Did I get the? It's empty. I knew it was gonna be empty. I'm too smart. It's empty. He 
must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Good fucking deductions, Peggy. You're helping a lot. Is there a weapon lockup? He's seen it. There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. <laughs> His curse technique is to whistle earlier, guns right? away. Should I just play some music? Oh, shit. None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. <laughs> All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Take? Taser, pepper spray, take the baton. Uh, baton, you're probably not gonna make it. Taser might work. I say taser. It's gotta be the taser, right? I've got it. I'm just going Could to she not make any of these decisions for herself? Yeah, it is third. Wait. Supposed to be. Might that? be more suspense. No, we don't. No, I, I can't hear anything. Exactly, it's gone quiet. Oh. Maybe the freak left. Be careful. Can you see something? I doubt he left. You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Let me take a look. Uh oh. No. Yeah, I true, Maple. The spray right wouldn't have worked. Car. Squad car three. It's, right it's also there. wet out. What is the taser? She can't use the okay. taser if it's raining. Martinez? Oh, fuck. It's time to move. Just lean right? <sighs> yep. Does that make sense? You sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? I don't know why she's not taking all three weapons, so, but that's the game, I guess. Here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> she can't only infect him more. Oh fuck. Good luck, Leslie. Good luck, Leslie. Why is it? Good luck, Leslie. <laughs> Those are my two options. So brave. An ellipses and an exclamation God, point. I Hope she makes Tw plus 20 power in rainy weather is actually true. You no, know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. <laughs> I need to turn these bad boys up. Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello, Forrest, Peggy, this is Leslie. Are you there? Over. We're not here. <laughs> We're here, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. <laughs> Martinez is in the passenger seat still out. Imagine we just played crickets. I don't see the man anywhere, <laughs> and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Yeah, get out of there, Leslie. God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? Leslie, what's happening? What's even happening though? Like what? Yeah, take that. Drive. Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? <laughs> she wrote she raised her hands. Boris, that taser definitely the right call. Oh. Oh my god, I can't believe we He's not in the back seat, well is he? Done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just the taser was the right call, guys. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. <laughs> Fucking sitcom in the middle. <laughs> Gallows Creek is a nowhere spill, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Two, three hours each way. Okay, so we have to wait for her. You better floor it. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. <laughs> Just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Anyway, once I'm in, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest and Peggy, I've got to go. I'll She's starting to radio, stir? But I'll radio back as soon as I can. What the heck does that mean? Cavalry. Try not to crash. Take care. Try not to crash. We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. <laughs> 
We did it. We s she survived the whistling man. I think she could have easily died. We did it. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Who's gonna guess the the scream though? We need to guess the scream. I'm still waiting on that. We're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show meanwhile. Sure. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this whistling man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189. That's the The scream. For now. No, this isn't Smite 2. This is a game called a uh, Killer Frequency. Let's play, not Blast Processor. Let's do the Late Night Lurker. Get that shit out of here. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers. Lurkers if you dare. Wait, that's not what I grabbed. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take grab? four hours? This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. What? First, that's not how <laughs> Why does he think he's going to kill half the town? <sighs> Who is this whistling man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling. Who's are trying to get numbies? Yeah. That's an easy way. Oh, okay. That's what the band does. Okay, what happened to him? So we're screwed. <laughs> that's what I would say in the middle of this. So we're screwed. So we're just fucking screwed. Peggy. So close to chop. He's got the Pablo right now. He should just camp and let the Pablo get it for him. Oh, so they don't know he's actually died. I mean, what's the story? The story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight. It does, Jiggy. Didn't die on screen exactly. So we're screwed. Really wants me to disable. We're fucking screwed. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with. Whether we like it or not. <laughs> they just keep saying that every single option for the rest of the game is. So we're screwed. Got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight, could be around thirty-five. Thirty-five people. Isn't huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that long. <laughs> no, thirty-five people. All good. That's nothing? 35 at best? Should I just be an asshole? 35 at best. They're kind of all asshole responses. Yeah. It's a school night. It's a school What's night. The population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. Steph Curry! Over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? That's kind of more impressive. You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big guests could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on I'm the I'm not mad, I'm not saying it. We can dream of that. Five million. True, Tim. Million? Or yeah, doing it. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. Or doing the, yes. if I was a serial killer, yes. which I'm not. Yeah. My calling card thing that I would do when I walked up to people, I would do the Crash Bandicoot. Whoa! 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 I'll turn it off. <laughs> Another call coming in. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16. The scream. Is everything uh, all right? This guy's a fake. He's a fake. This is a fake trying to pretend. This? this person's trying to pretend to be the killer. Hello? Hello? See, they're at a party. You can hear it in the background. Okay. What's your name and why are you calling in? Unconvincing whistling. Do you accept requests? Do you 
accept requests. I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh, maybe <laughs> we you must make a sacrifice to us. This is a prankster, guys, trying to pretend to be the killer. Us. I, I mean, me. We want cheese dusted pretzel. Dude, what do you want? I mean, Damn kids. I'm cutting Not yet. I want to deal with him. Let's deal with him. Although this might be wasting our time while other important people are calling. We also want a mega call. You little shits. You're Let's little get shits, it. You know that? There's been death tonight. What the hell is wrong with you? Fuck you, you piece of shit. <laughs> Suck it, old man! Suck it, old man. Gallo's high for life. <laughs> I was quarterback at Gallo just two years ago. Just tuning in. We do, in fact, have an actual killer out <laughs> on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. The Doyle rules. All right, let's play some the hangups. No, we'll play some word. The bird is the word. And we'll shoot some hoops. Introduce the song, yeah. By Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. From deep. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's I agree, Peggy. That our whistling man was just a prank. Oh! Leslie. No, that. That's real. Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. She's not talking, though. I wish. Let's do this. We gotta save her. A save right there. Auto save. Let's pause our music. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Uh-oh. Right Uh-oh, Sandra. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. Uh-oh. What's your name? What's your name? What's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. The cops aren't coming. The sheriff is dead. Both are not looking good. I'm sorry, Sandra, but the sheriff is dead. We're trying to get help in from Henderson now. What? A jazz run. Okay. Oh shit, he's got a knife. He's got a fucking knife. A jazz run? <laughs> Bad night to go out for a run. Um, Let's go ahead and just ask her where she is. I don't think we need to give her a lip. Can you go back and find your key? Sounds like you lost him. I think you'll be fine. Is there anything else? Anywhere else you can go? If he goes, she goes back to get her keys, she's likely to die. She didn't lose him. Is there anywhere else? Let's see where else she could go. Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Uh oh. Oh, we're going to have to hotwire the car? Oh fuck. Okay. I don't. If it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Do I need to go look for books now? You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic and Guys, how do I hotwire a car? It's over. It's not over. We're going to help this lady. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Well, I'm playing music for her as she's about to get murdered? Should I introduce the song? No, we don't have time for that. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The 
Tamora twins or something. Timberline twins. Talk, talk motors. motors. Timberline twins talk motors. You know they're not even brothers. Yo, I mean, Peggy. Like the same though. <laughs> I know, but they're not even related. Guys, we don't have time Weird. for this. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Oh shit! I'm leaving the room. Oh, this is gonna. This is not gonna be good. That's a lot of papers. That's the note that we found earlier. Wait a second. This is the note that we found earlier that when we died. Oh, this looks like a mechanics. Truck. Do I have like a time limit here? Now this has to be important. Twins, I've borrowed your car theft magazine. Those huevos rancheros aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Oh, I threw it in there. I'm trying to feel like the dark web game, is it? I can help you hotwire your car. I have a wrench. Jeez. Go flying out. Guys. Twins, I borrowed a car. Th those aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Oh! I see. Oh, I see. He went to the bathroom to read the car theft magazine. Because the Huevos Rancheros were, uh... They, they flew right through him. Not in here. Oh, it's down here. Let's go. This looks useful. Yeah, it does. Oh my god, it's a any and an Audi. What? What if she's the killer somehow? Uh, do I have a mod that can make a prediction real quick? Will this- will I save this lady or will she die? I can do it. <laughs> do I save Sandra? Yes. No. Air creating prediction, please try again. Voice over or will she die? Oh, there you go. Thank you, Gabriel. Just thinking I think she but I'll say Okay. Fair. Thank you. Yeah, I do, Spud. Yeah, nothing. Of course not. Oh, well. How do I... You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, oh, that's that perfect. Perfect. <laughs> when you're ready, shut the music off. Let's get this. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot, trying to find me. Okay. But I've got my, tools. my tools, my tools. This hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Put the screwdriver in the ignition, twist clockwise, unscrew the steering column, hit the steering wheel with the hammer. I can't. 
Oh, shit. Use a screwdriver as a key. If that fails, remove the steering column cover. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I should have flipped that. I, uh, I, uh, Too fat. Sheesh. What next? Hit the steering wheel with the hammer. No. It's going to set the alarm off. You're just doing calm cover. Check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. One, two. There's a four before three and a seven. A number seven in the number red and blue. Oh, fuck, dude. There's a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five green and brown. If there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six red and yellow, what the fuck? You're doing great. Just tell me exactly what you see. Do jazz breathing. Don't panic. No, she's not. She's not gun. A blue wire, a yellow wire, wire, a green wire. A green wire and a brown wire. What's the serial number on the steering column? What's the serial Okay, number everybody listen up. The steering column. The number is 5768943205676 five, If there's a 6 anywhere and doesn't start with a 5 if there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six. If there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six. Red and yellow. Strip and twist together red and yellow wires. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. Right? All right. Guys, zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six. Step four, now strip the purple wire. Do not touch this live wire. Strip the pink wire and plug it in the ignition. Strip the purple wire and twist under the exposed cable. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. What? Strip the purple wire okay. and brush against the twisted wires. Pink wire, do not cut other pink wires. This will trigger the alarm. Turns on and won't turn off. Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. We did it. I'm glad you're safe, but lay off the jazz. Just keep driving. Just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. The, the sly safe, remarks. Sandra. Did we save Sandra? We did it! We've saved both. We saved both Here's women now. Hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16 Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. Let's go. We're going to play some David Scorpio. Oh, wait, did I just grab it? I did grab it, okay. Nice. Can somebody, uh, did you, can you guys pay out the prediction? I still can't believe this is happening. My first time, Will. Right. <laughs> like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? All right, we're done with this probably, right? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Oh, come on, really? Forrest. Come on. Miserable? Lighten up, you love this place. It's a sad place on earth. Peggy, be honest, it's nothing personal. Peggy. It's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things interesting. Good night, Ma. I, like it here. I will. I'm going to try my best to save everyone because that's what I do. Ass backwards. Stab Appy? Sorry, sorry, Peggy. On, there, there wasn't any good options right there. Place. Some folks have been okay. You don't notice the stink after a while. Some folks, some have okay. folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Dude. It's making us want to like Peggy because she is going to die. Good night, Tim. Yeah, they're cool, Barry. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? 
Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. 12.42, it's been 42 minutes. He is a bit of a romantic, isn't he? Caller I think she might be a, a, the, the killer. Forrest is a bit of a snot-nosed brat. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Boris. My name is Brian. Uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Right. Hello, Brian Ponty. Hello, Brian Ponty. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. <laughs> what is the difference? What do you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, Ponty's Pizza? And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just want uh -oh, to... Uh-oh, he's sending me a pizza. I'm sending you some coupons for... Let's go, coupons! Pizza. Free pizza, Ponty's! On Ponty's. Well, he's a little well, sus, yeah. That's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Shrek, is that you? Well, you're in luck because we're always running clean. No, that's not Irish. That's so Scottish. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Your choice of words. <laughs> yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. Oh, he's doing an we ad. a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Well, for Peggy, hang up on him. <gasps> Done. Oh, hallelujah. Before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. He's trying to get his his bag, dude. You know how to play an ad, right? Do I know how to play a cassette? Yes. Sure. Guys. Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man. A devout Christian and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. That is loud. Gallows Creek. Let's turn like that down a little bit. And all his fathers before him. Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place. 24 what the fuff is that? Unlike this is mayor, called a cassette Linda player. Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. I don't know, He's souls. Our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of... Uh-oh, Sheriff Matthews. Oh, that's awkward. Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Oh. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good... Oh, Mayor Cartwright. Maybe he killed him. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American... VHS town. is great, coach. Help him become the smell mayor. of VHS was great, too. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. Teddy Gallows Jr. My name Jr. is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve. And I approve this message. God, what a jackass. Hundred percent. You hate him. Asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Well, he has my vote. <laughs> those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Get a sip of my water yeah, here. He it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a long night. Creek high. Uh, of course, he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day. The easy sport, golf. Never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. That's sweet as we believe that well, Teddy Gallagher is not trying to help Pontians by not making them eat sugar. That ad really made no, this is the third game thing, though. At Teddy Gallows. You missed you it. You missed too. Swing for Teddy Gallows. Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. All right, taking another color. Here we go, guys. Welcome True, Coach. That's a good idea. That's yummy. Forrest Nash. 
Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. wait. Horace Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. Oh, he doesn't know. God, Bro I'm doesn't know. I am 911. I am 911. I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. It's all good, Bloptress. I always watch the VOD. They were pretty good games. That's my bad, though. I kind of just... I need to start scheduling my scary Sunday so people can be here at the right time. That's on me. If you guys care. We can't do that right now, bro. Just tell me what's happening. We're live on air. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. Oh, damn, Digma. Ever since high school you've been called that? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Uh-oh. Dressed as the whistling man. Uh-oh. No, 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 buddy. You're about to get murdered, Maurice. They bullied you like that? But I was there. I covered it. And now he's back. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? Uh-oh. Boardroom upstairs. Board room upstairs. Got security cameras all around the building. Okay. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Think you can take the whistling man? What the hell? Is, is there any way you can get out of there? I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's so he's so calm. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is shoot hoops. Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? Oh. In different rooms with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Okay. And get an exclusive interview with the killer. I'm on this time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out how stupid that plan sounds, <laughs> What right? the fuck, Maurice? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay, should I play music? You... you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. I wish, bud. Oh, check your I message. should. Oh, he faxed over the stuff to me. I'll play some music while I'm gone. Oh, the fax machine is in here? The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Oh, I just had to do the dialogue. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Where's the fucking fax machine at?
this must be it. We got it. Oh, shoot. Why did I just hear a door close or open? Did you guys hear that? All right, Peggy's still here. Phew. This takes place in 1980s, Matt. Hey, did you get the fax? Yeah, we got it. Yes, I have. I lost it. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you uh, you still with us? I am. Did you get my fax? We got it. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. <laughs> what? Search every room in the hall. Okay. So he's in office space down here. If he needs to go to the stairs. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Call the editor's office. The kitchen. The archives. That would be the closest. Or the boardroom. We can't call the boardroom. He's in the boardroom, right? The editor's, editor's office makes the most sense, right? Because the archives and the kitchen are right next to it. Don't respond when prompted for 30 seconds. Uh-oh. Am I supposed to do that? Call the editor's call office. The editor's office. The extension is zero. <laughs> Why is that an achievement? I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Kitchen, then move him to the bathroom. Where do I need to go? go to the archives. Go. Can he make it to the kitchen? No. Second thought, let's dial another room. Let's dial another Boy, we're wasting time. He's right, Forrest. I can get another number ready. But we probably won't get to change our minds again. Oh shit. Where do you want me to call? Wait, I thought that maybe so if I call him the kitchen, he can go to the bathroom? Call the kitchen, the extension is zero two. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. Alright, Nash. Where do I Can he even go into the bathroom? Oh, I can't. He can't even go into the bathroom. We're fucked. You're moving to the archives. He's archives. dead. Nash just across from the kitchen. It's going to be tight. Oh, he's dead. Sure, Nash. He's fucking dead. Let me rethink this. Uh, let me rethink this. Damn it, man! Do you want me to be a headline murder? Hurry up! Oh goodness. I guess he's got to go to the archives. To I can't change where the guy's going. Archives. Nash just across from the kitchen. It's going to be tight. Are you sure, Nash? I'm sure. I'm sure. Whatever. I'm ready to place the call. He's dead. He's fucking dead, guys. Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. You can thank me later. Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're safely home. He's not. Thank you. It's your producer. I'll be crediting. If I make we gotta make get you out of here, dude. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Uh oh. Is he dead? Make it okay? Is he dead, chat? But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Dynamite. Maybe we could. Oh. Uh oh. Coming. You ready? 
Ready as I'll ever be. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? By the skin of my teeth. Oh, he made it. He came out of the kitchen almost as soon as he entered. Thank God I made it in here just a second before. The killer already searched the kitchen. He probably didn't have to look around much. Did he see you? Are, are you safe for now? He didn't see me, no. Let me just check the security cameras to see where he went. Looks like he's headed towards the cubicles. Cubicles, okay. We have enough intern desks to keep him busy for a little while. I'm not out of the woods yet, though. If he goes to the editors... Right, let's review where we are. If he goes to editors, we can Hold put him down, down the stairs. By the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Furniture out of the way. Not quickly or quietly. Can you fight him? Can you lock him in a room? I mean, all of these are pretty bad. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. The damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Oof. He'd be able to get out just as soon as. Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. Secret archives through my office where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. Who's what Reggie? Got that there. Juicy secrets about outer space. That's Peggy. not the time, Peggy. I don't think now is the time to be playing <laughs> around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break I out. mean, if we lock him in there, how is he ever going to get out? Get him in there, and I lock him in. We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. This is oh not going to work, though. This plan We're is not going to work. We'll be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive, then? Can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh. We're going to need to change it up, then. Any ideas, Forrest? Is there a TV in there? Use a radio? Use yourself as bait? That won't work. He can't get out. Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Think of something else. Maybe. We could use a radio. radio, but is a radio in there? No radio in the secret so he's just gonna have to use himself no as bait. Radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but what is it? A sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio. He never turns off. Oh, I'm gonna have to direct this guy around. That might be what we need. Is he a screen is this fan? Radio still there? It should be. What he calls his work radio should be here in the archives, actually. Let me just take a peek around. Great job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect place. I meant to do that. Yep. That was a uh, 100% just me thinking ahead. Exactly as planned. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Ash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Oh, shit. Right, I didn't believe him. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. You Let's think so, Camillus? Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. For Hopkins, Forrest. But wait, we're the radio. Turn us on and we'll be quiet. Be quiet until you're ready. If you can do that, then Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Turn us on. 189.16. I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? You got it. 189.16. Sure. Good. I've got the radio on silent. I'm tuned in. Now, I just <laughs> need to get to my office. 
Somebody <laughs> speak in Spanish. For us. Where should we send the killer? Where should we send the killer? If he's in the kitchen and we need to get him to the archives, can we get him to the boardroom? Call the board. Yeah. The extension is zero four. That might work. Si se puede. Se puede. Really close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm Let's sure. make the call. Make the call. That's the best place he okay. can go. Calling the boardroom now. Yeah, he's at cubicles, so he's gonna go to boardroom. He can make it to the editors. I'll just spam. I'm gonna spam some soundboards while he has the radio in his hand. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? We get fake advice. I'll impersonate Mr. Russell. Call the killer a jackass. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak the slip. What a great plan this is, Carl! Wow, that was pretty good. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. What? No, that was Call sick. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am the... Good question. It's under my desk, but... Uh, <laughs> to chase see music. under it. I've got a big cabinet. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but that's where the killer is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Hide among the cubicles, hide in your cabinet, hide under the desk. Guys, mmm. If he goes to the cubicles, the guy's just going to see him. He can't hide in the secret archive because he's just going to get stuck there. He's got to hide in his cabinet and then run out when the guy goes into the secret archive. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Yeah, and he has well, to run away. Tell him. It. Tell him to run away. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We yeah, it is cool, plan. Jiggy. You can trust us. Here we go. Quick, Mr. Russell, hide in the back room in your office. Horace, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. <laughs> no! No, he's dead. Forrest, he's he's out of print. Out of print. <laughs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. Guys. We'll be back. What did I do wrong? How could he have gotten out? Do you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share? Give us a call. After this next track. What what was he supposed to do? If he went to the cubicles, maybe he just, no matter what, he he dies. No, I... I unlucky, I guess. I'll go back to the blast processor. Time to go on the journey that is. Blast processor with their hit song... 19. Did it too fast? What did I do? Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're gonna interview me. Are you sure about that? All right, Peggy. You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Maybe I like being a mystery. <laughs> All right, shoot. What do you want to know? Yeah, they are. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That's too general. Okay. 
Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Now that's too specific. Oh, she's too asking. Specific? I. Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, oh shit. Sorry, Forrest. You're sorry. Why did you do it? You're sorry. Why? You're sorry. Why? Did you do it? Of course not. I only. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? What is Jiggy? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. What? Huh. What a coincidence. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. Was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be. It's okay, I know. <laughs> I'm sick about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. Just the follow fudge backer? No. Not anymore. Not anymore? I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Oh. Think someone needs our help? Maybe. Uh-uh. You want to go check it out? Oh, Maybe. shit. You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Uh-oh. Gee, thanks, Peggy. Gee, thanks, Peggy. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Okay, Peggy. Do I have a gun or something I can bring? Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. You guys think Peggy's the killer? Getting in there tonight. I thought I heard somebody walking. That's not opening. Her dad was the original killer, and she took up the mantle to pass it on. It runs in the family. Ooh, okay. True Rantoon. See if anyone would look for look for me after she kills me. This is a cool like radio building. From below it came. On the first night of filming, I screamed so loud that somebody called the local police. I gave them an autograph and continued the shoot. It was so crazy. Craft and work. As seen on TV. 666 new products that will make your nightmare home improvements a dream. Top hits. Some good slasher vibes. Tape. Oh shit. Somebody dropped a tape in. Play on air. Play on what play on play me on air, oh, okay. Guys, I have, a, I have to piss, so I'm going to do that real quick. I'm just going to go sit in the corner here and go pee. I'll be right back. I'll pretend I'm sitting on this chair. Be right back. No, we haven't met him yet, Dino. Be back.
Oh, I'm back. What's up, guys? That's another from below it came thing. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? I no. piss, Maple? They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. All right, let's just play it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Here we go. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for life. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. Uh oh. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? Forest, we're still on air. Say something. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how the killer could get from the newspaper to KFAM so quick, but... Uh-oh, there's multiple? Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Maybe it's the Give mayor. Call if you need help. You can get us. On nine one one. Okay, I think it might be. Maybe it's the the mayor and his Thank workers. You again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. <laughs> Move her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. 189.16. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll. I'm getting better at this whole thing. The glam jam. Damn, Victor. Right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. You're right there. Why don't you do it? Just go get it. Why am I playing another cassette? Play me ASAP off air. Uh oh, what is this? All right, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work mail. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP off air. That's Reggie's handwriting, but he wrote it in purple. Purple? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. <laughs> okay. What do you think he's angry about? About? I have no idea. Maybe, no, probably not that. I don't know, just go play it. But it can't be on air. Oh. It says off air. Can I turn? How do I mute it for them? I guess I just play it. Straight to voicemail. My God. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank. I don't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest 
mate. You all right? <laughs> Oh, righteous. True, Bria. But he's across the pond. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Sues the pants off us. Hey, did you get it? Oh, no. No, not yet. Any ideas where it might be? What do you think it is, got Peggy? To the station? It's probably still at reception. Check around there. Thanks. All right, reception we go. What is this? The radio? All right, where's this song at? Most of this is gibberish. Barb, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends though. Oh, Br Brad. P.S. You owe me five bucks for the festival tickets. The hell, Brad? Some cats. Oh shit. Maybe she's pissed. Maybe she's killing everyone because her boyfriend broke up with her. Her. Final breath. Here it is. Must be it. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. So many locked doors, so few keys. Oh. Let's close this all the way. Nice. Classic man. <laughs> Check the pet here because I heard that song's dog water. Bro, this song is it's a hit single. From Rob Roddy Snatcher. The the freaking famous artist. The famous. Famous, the most famous. Did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! <laughs> yeah, Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation. To Rod himself, Snatcher. Is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. What? Where'd it go? Is this it? What the hell? That was not Roddy Snatcher. Do you actually want Gina to sue us? Where'd it go? Shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Wait, what? Did I I played the wrong song? Evening, Unlucky. <laughs> this is Boris Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, and tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy. <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Boris. First, happy birthday to my 
189.16 Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? A big man with a big knife, huh? Prove it. Come face me, a true warrior at Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. This is a bad idea, Murphy. You have a son and it's his birthday. Don't die. Oh, no. He knows karate. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed. Ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Murphy's going to kill him, but... Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. What's the ad? What's this ad? Oh, it's the... The dojo thing? Oh no. Wow. Just. Direct by video warrior. Poor Murphy fell for it too. Just call five 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 seven eight six one USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Well, that's unlucky. Did that not count? Because I took it out early. I think that didn't count because I took it out just a split second early. Do you seek I have to play it again. No, I haven't sold burn. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's why it, it stopped. There was a, there was a secret at the end. Kobe, karate love making. Cash money. People really buy this kind of thing. Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them. I guess. Yeah, I bet karate Oof. love making sure is something. Whoa, uh, Peggy, uh, relax. Is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. 
Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless <laughs> they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. We got a caller. You know what to do. I do, Peggy. I do. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> Who's there? Who's there? Who is this? Yeah, it is Ultima. Hello. Are, are you still with us? Forrest? You called me? <laughs> you think so, Camille? Horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Collar. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. One of the, one of the people you helped died, though. So you should tell you that. Sure. Sure. Okay. Most of them. Okay. Two out of three. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name? Call True, me. Maple. That's crazy. Uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. I'm a tell doctor. Me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm, no, no, no! Don't say that out loud. Maybe you can hide in your house. He'll find me. I know he'll find Silver, thanks for the 11 months, dude. Welcome back. Much appreciated. Call a neighbor. Um, yeah, call a neighbor. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Oh, Your everyone's away, dude. Friend. Everyone's away. Just, just a fraternity down the street. You live by a friend. Oh, that's where the people yes. called in. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. One. That's the same one that called us. Yeah, Riri, thanks for the tier one. What's much much appreciated. Welcome to the Fonzo family. Thank you, Riri. I can't think. I can't. I can't. Thank you, Riri. Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know. But wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Pizza. The pizza. Don't be a child. I'm trying to remember. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia. What? While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Very interested. What places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head. Pizza. Uh, well. We have pizza, pe whatever his name was. There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree. Oh, barbecue and sounds good. from Chalupa Cabras. <laughs> oh, True. She's a loser, doesn't get to go to the frat parties. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they delivered to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. Right. There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. Take out but what client privilege. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Well, I hate this town, time. Jesus. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related, and maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Peggy's sliding freaking into the DMs. Oh, start. What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh... Chad or Brad? I just have to look around. A food critic. Gallows Creek Chili Cook-Off Champion. Oh, so he's probably here. A promotion, huh? Dear Where Bradley Cutter, find the pizza box? please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. We've pinned our best, our latest offers and deals on the outside of the box. If you want to read them out on air, Grilling Spree's new offer is terrible, and we think you should read our advert instead. P.S. A connoisseur like you needs to try our three-hour slow-roasted pizza. Much love. 
Hey, I ate the garlic bread. Much like your show, it was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out, though. John. Ooh, mediocre. He thought it was mediocre. Price slashers. Deals so low, they are criminal. <laughs> what is that a uh, recipe for? Grilling spree. I better see what's on this tape. Yeah, it's frat boy. It's got to be pizza, right? Who cares if it's bad? He's, they're just ordering pizza. I did write it. That was me. Oh shit. Oh no. We got a beer. What am I going to do? Uh-oh. It's going to be over. It's the grill reaper. <laughs> what is this ad? Say what? That's right. What a meal deal for us and you'll get a free six pack. Whoa, what a deal. You threw them all to the side like this, coach. Bears, the Gallo High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> Me too, Billy. Some good slasher vibes. Come on down to Griffin's for a call up five by five seven four nine eight three three five. We've got a barbecue you'll die for. Wow. A free six pack, huh? I wonder how well Gallo's High performed. Yeah. Yeah, they won. Hey, Forrest, do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? Uh, I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Spare ribs. Christ. <laughs> hey, find anything useful? Oh, we should probably find out. I'll go and look at Should we find out if right, they won? Don't take too long. Virginia needs our help. Can we find out if they won somehow? I have no idea, Camellius. Call that place someone dies, you reckon? Oh, there's just three phones. Probably not Camillo's because it can mess up your sleep. Even just the quality, like while you're actually asleep. Gallows Reporter High wins the big game. 28 to 20. They won. They won. They won. Did I say Camellia? Sorry, I meant third. I do, it's true. It's do. Hey, it's do, it's true, it's do, it's, do, it's I I do. Yes. I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? <laughs> Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest. What'll it be? This is, this is making me hungry. I'm hungry. Call grilling spray. Okay. The Grill Reaper is on the line. The Grill Reaper is on the line. You're through the grilling spree. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Fratman calling? Fratman calling. We're in major need of foods for dudes. <laughs> uh, can I just have your order? I want ribs, big ribs for my frat house, brothers. Right. Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Same address. All right. We'll get it to you soon. Oh, and <laughs> one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? A note? Okay. Better check. <laughs> He's just like, sure. All right. And now we wait.
wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Our delivery workers. Oh, it's the same. Same record. I need a new record. I haven't played yet. The flow? Have we played that? I don't think I have. Yeah, let's introduce it. Now it's time to go with the flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. Boom. I'm too clean with the, the board. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Uh-oh. Equally awful, equally good. If you had to sure, pick. But if you had to pick one. All right, all right. He is not flirting. Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa cabras. Chalupa cabras. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought for us. Oh, he was going to call... He was going to order food for them. All right, let's hear okay, it. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Um, this is Dudley from the Brotherly Fraternity of Engineers. Um, I have a note to call you. Hey, weird question. Uh, but you aren't the only ones on your street tonight, are you? No, sir. Uh, I think everyone on the street is in tonight. Uh, yeah, first. Uh, I just visually confirmed <laughs> Dudley the nerd. Uh, I see cars in the driveways. And a couple of lights on. Uh, everyone's in. Yeah. Oh. And you've not been throwing a loud party all night, have you? I certainly hope we haven't destroyed oh. our neighbors. Uh, why do you He's ask? Trolling. Forrest, we have a new call coming in. Forrest, line two. Hello, you're live. Uh oh. 189.16, the stream. Forrest. Uh oh! Did I do? Did I call the wrong place? Did I call the wrong place? Oh goodness! Oh dear God, poor Virginia. You did your best, Forrest. To everyone listening. Did I call I the wrong place? Bad, I think I called the right place, right? Don't lose faith. We will stop this whistling man. And I think Virginia may have just given Clive, us the clue we need. she said. What was that about Clive I didn't talk? Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But your guess is as good as mine. Oh. Right, Seems we may have a Okay, lead. now I'm becoming a detective. And if you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Wow, already into our next Hello, caller. caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this <laughs> all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at Just in my small, my business. small business. You know. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Oh, what small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion. He is up late, though. Oh, my gosh. Cracking deal. This guy, dude. I wonder what would have happened if we called Ponty's instead. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. 
And tonight's 911 stand in. Hi. Hello. Am I on air? Sure, our caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. Okay. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting. She is Camus. She's all she's all action. Coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. Molly. Aw, Eugene. We plan to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. Uh-oh. And since I listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Eugene, you really should probably go home to your parents, your buddy. Parents. My parents are dead, actually. Well, bro, everybody's parents are dead. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. Uh-oh. Uh oh. It'll take a little while to get here, but uh, thanks again, Forrest. Good talking. Oh no. Molly can't whistle. Molly can't whistle. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Just run through the walls? Can't you just run through the walls? It's only corn. It wouldn't be the maze maze if you could just walk through walls, Forrest. What? You can. Right. I... Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Oh, me. shoot. There's a maze over here, isn't there? Please, hurry. Well, listeners. While Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers. Oh, shoot. Gonna play a track for lovers out there. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? This is the maze. Our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. She was really here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Right here. I know what to do. Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad and said, Oh, but then he broke up with her. I'm so sorry to hear that, Peggy. It's fine. I'm not the one who had to go out with that jerk Brad after all. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze. No, uh, we can do it right here. But I don't actually know her number. What's up, Goose? But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara, I guess? the receptionist. Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Receptionist. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Dude, I even knew that, Forrest. You fucking she's shitty piece of shit fuck. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right, yeah. Sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. It's September 3rd, so that road is closed. We're gonna have to use that in the future. This game's cool. It's got little little knickknacks. Stuff like that that you had to clue in on. Uh, a couple hours, Ultima. I mean, this game for a couple hours. We finished two other games already Datables Where's her maze? Huh. Looks like Brad broke her heart. I already saw that. Wonder what she'd have done with all that maze maze stuff. 
If you were crazy about the maze. Oh, she threw it away because here's what I was looking for. Because she didn't go on the day or whatever. Boom. Back upstairs. What's up, Mike Monkey? This game's very good. So far, it's been sick. It's really cool. Okay. Look at this maze, guys. How am I gonna... You're just gonna have to help me through this one. Any luck? For Eugene? Yes. For Barbara? No. Brad can't... <laughs> So Barbara left her tickets and a map for the maze maze behind. Ugh, Barbara can be scared. All right, we're going to need to figure out where this kid no, is no, no. and then direct him. Let's save the kid. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Line one, okay. Welcome back to 189.16. When you figure out where he is. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze, Eugene. You're back on air. I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran, and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad. Facing a tractor statue. Facing a tractor statue. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Crossroad facing the tractor statue? Where the frick is the crossroad? Guys, what? The statue's right here, one. Should he go backwards? Go right. Wait, what? Jesus! Oh, shit! He's cutting through the wall! Where do I go? Go left? I'm so confused. He's at a crossroad facing a tractor statue gold hay bales to his right. I'm confused. Soulsborn, you fucked me. Stupid kid. Dude, I... What he said was so confusing. He's at a crossroads facing a tractor statue. Where is the crossroads? What is this crossroads he's talking about? Wait a second. Is the green the corn? And the yellow is the path? The green is the path, and the, the yellow is the corn. It's facing the green dot at number one. He's facing the green dot at number one. And number two was on his right. I'm confused. Oh, number two is golden hay bales. No, let me go back. Let me go back. I didn't know how to read the map, bro. I didn't know how to read that. <laughs> He's fucking dead. He's dead. Eugene. Eugene, I wanted to save him. I guess that's what love does. I guess that's what love does. It makes us fall. I, it does auto save, but I don't.
Last saved 102 seconds ago. Yeah, it saved Jesus. after he died. I just don't, Forrest. Okay, don't. Sorry. Way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she killed three people. Never I've killed two. Him. Come on. Oh wait, I've killed three. I don't think this. I don't think the lady though. I could have saved. Cause I'm pretty sure I called the right takeout place. In, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember. Say two so far. Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up for us. So take. Remember not to call you in trouble. Hey, dude, come on. Collar, I was owning. Forrest Nash on 189.16. That map was fucked up, bro. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Thank you. I don't know about wonderful, but uh, thanks. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. Okay. Don sounds hot. What? Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're going to find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. Oh. You threw it in the trash? No, I, I threw it out the window earlier today. Why? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? It is the map's that fault. Can we? Let's be real. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Peggy, why would you do that? Finest hour, but I can only take so much. For shame, Peggy. For shame. I'm sorry Brad was being a dick. I thanks Forrest. I think she Let's might be just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, Why? folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. You know why I've killed three people? Because I'm fucking starving and getting tired. If I was at my best capabilities, I would have saved everyone. That's it. What am I? Play a record for us. Oh, right. Don't get, don't get, don't get testy with me. I don't want to throw the record out the window. You made so much Korean barbecue, maple. Really, bro? Uh, be because yes, we're trying to save people because there's a serial killer on the loose and our sheriff died and then the 911 dispatcher had to leave to go to the nearest town to help get police. So we're the one controlling. Of all the songs to request, why did it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> why couldn't they just request Roddy? They oh, did. Forrest, scrap the song. We have another they did request. I'm playing Roddy right now. So who cares? Throw that shit away. Caller on line one. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Yeah, it's a small town. Ultima. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest. Brad's sister, maybe. Forrest. Uh oh, it's Murphy. His karate didn't work. What's wrong? To me, Murphy. What's wrong? Uh, oh, the killer got me, man. I. Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robbie? <laughs> Robbie. I warned you not to. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Okay. <laughs> Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn policeman. He came to the gallows waste disposal. How is he able to go all these places? Oh, I guess it's right there, which is close to the cornfield. Oh, oh God damn. I smell smoke. I think he's starting a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now or I'm gonna die. Peggy, 
Get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just come on, pick up. The fire department isn't helping with Hi. the situation at all. I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? Uh oh. He. Oh God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. <laughs> wow. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My True, Maple. Alex that would help a lot. Of Haddonfield and Romero Street, and Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. Maybe that would just group him up and group everybody up though for him. But he's old, really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Gallows Creek Road closures. Eastside Mac Ready Street will be closed from separate. Yeah. For maintenance, we're going to be able to access a connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road. Okay. So, Wayland Road and Carpenter Avenue? Peel Street, probably? All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Wait, what? I need to know where your the people were. Can you say it again? Where is Murphy again? Forrest, really? He just told us he's at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Okay, okay, sorry, I forgot. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Bro, what? I don't remember your the people's names where they were. Fuck, I have no idea. Call Alex. All right, give me a second. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope okay. they're in time. Okay, we get it. We got the fucking one out of three. So what, Ape One? How are you? Are you sure you can't? What's happening, Peggy? The road is closed. Alex was too far away. Too slow. Oh my god. The plant burned down. It collapsed. So Murphy is. Poor Fernando is going to be crushed. Just like his dad? Jesus. His father died a hero. What? He's just trying to protect Why couldn't father. she repeat the, the places? I didn't even hear it. Forest. Murphy, I promise we will stop. I've this. killed another person. And for Fernando. I, I, I can't save anyone now. Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. I'm getting freaking hungry and tired, man. I'm gonna have to call it after one more caller. Where's the other caller? Right, folks, another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have. I'm the murderer, yeah. Welcome to one eighty nine point sixteen, the Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows. Oh, this guy. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founder, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need. I haven't, Mike. Has it, has it gotten a lot of updates? Okay, Teddy. We. I know you're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really. Stepping up the bat for us so true, Doc. Tonight. Thank you for the 13, bro. I Welcome back. Thank you, thank you, thank you Doc Green. <gasps> My man. Jackass. 
You're a prick, Teddy. Teddy, stop. Teddy, this isn't the time for your political ads. Stop. I just want to make sure our town is safe Teddy's the murderer. and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200... Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. Good call. Good call for for this. You know what? I do have a problem. A problem that's Teddy has my our there. town. You know what it is? Yeah, how about the goddamn serial killer? The problem is that woman. Yo, cut this guy off. Man. Fuck this guy. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... You tell him, Peggy. Sounds a oh. Unstable too. Okay, you dare speak Teddy. To that way? Getting sexist. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And Good job. That's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. <laughs> it I always felt disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. All right. Our last ad, I guess. What is this one? I wonder. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back. We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Corn Sure, Maple, Corn that would have been funny. Broken old country music, can jam, jams, jellies, jamborees, juggling, Jamboree's roller, juggling, roller rickies, rickies, roller, roller disco, disco lessons. Praying. Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies. Save donkeys and bunnies. Fried dough. Sand licking, cracker and cat shop. Meow. And tattoo face paint and puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dance and story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. Gord Mezra, what is that? Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Garrett Miley. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here for us. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome <laughs> back to the show. We have a note from my... J-Mac with the 77, right. dude. Much appreciated. Come Festival tomorrow to grab... Thank you, J-Mac. ...your choice of a ...for a long-time support, bro. ...or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me... Boris Nash. Uh-oh. Hello, caller. Who is this? I am the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? <laughs> There's a guy hunting me and my friend. I, I think he's killed some of them already. Oh shit. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it! He's just a kid. Where are you? Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god, oh my god. Well, stay with me, kid. Focus. Uh oh, uh oh. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Molly. Oh, is she at the frat? Do it. What's your name? Is everyone at the frat getting killed? Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Old murder house? Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. There's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? 
Bathroom? Nowhere to hide in the bathroom. Bedroom? Probably the bedroom, right? Go to the bedroom. Okay. Right? Puppet combo, yeah. Uh oh. He's gonna kill me. Boris, I don't think we can. Don't move. Don't move. If you run, he's gonna catch you. There's just no way you get away. I have saved two people, Mask. Pulled a prank again. <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? Just a joke, jeez. Wait, isn't that Jimmy? That wasn't funny, Sticko. Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Boris Nash. What the hell are Boris you? Boris Nash. Doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. You know he's really out there tonight, Jimmy, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> he's just she can't go home. Now she's going to die. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Garrett, the guy. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. It's the real one. Oh, no. Who are you? Oh, no, Ted. Oh, goodness. Everyone, get inside. Everyone, run. Oh. This one guy is just going on a tearing tree. You buy time, but not much. What is this guy a freaking superhuman? Heather, I already called the cops. Boris picks up. He's the best. I'm better than the cops, buddy. My friend. I'll save you. Murder house. Puppet combo. Of course. The van. Who's got the key? Jimmy had them. Oh, Jimmy. We need to make a distraction. Relax, Carrie. Focus. Focus. Stay focused, Carrie. Focus. Yes. Sorry. I'm here. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're going to get killed. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Force, listen. Uh, mm, maybe we should call her. We can come up with and, uh, what? Scott, you're not any good at... Uh, and, no, no, Chad. No, Chad. Not all of us. You're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? <laughs> we can figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Okay. Or else these idiots are going to get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Oh, Boris, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friend. We call, we call her friend and ask about <sighs> her friends. These damn kids never learn. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. <sighs> Do this kind of thing every year for us. People get hurt. Uh oh, maybe she right. hates every. She hates a lot of people and a lot of things. We're gonna work out a way to save maybe she's killing everybody. This next one 
goes out to all the trapped kids out there. The flow crying for help. Hope you enjoyed this one as much as I do. You don't even think she's behind there? You mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. She really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. Go, go, go. I'm saving him. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Jeez, they really tucked Jeannie away. Good job on the new job. Friendship quiz. That's no boring. shot. What the hell was that? That was so loud. A friendship quiz? Really? That was convenient. <laughs> Wait, it's actually tree coats. Only one suspect. Most likely to peak. Mount Everest. Hot David, Kyle, Heather. If you have multiple... If you have multiple slashes, it, what does that mean? Most likely to peak... That means you're the most likely person to do it? So Heather's most likely to peak Mount Everest. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face. Cynthia, Scott, Chad, Tammy. Most likely to end up in prison. Seth. Most likely to escape prison. Jennifer. Most likely to become an Olympic athlete. Hot David or Heather. Heather can also climb Mount Everest. Okay. Useful information. Here we go. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll that's help, that's so then convenient. Good enough. Carries on line one. Whenever you're ready. All right, let's do this. Time to turn the music off. Oh, true. This is Forrest Nash back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes. We've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first. We'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's going to be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather Ooh. and Kyle and Hot David. It's got to be Heather. She's the most likely to peak Mount Everest. so She's a good climber. But escaping prison would be good for climbing as well. And we might need Heather for something else. Okay, I think we just have to go Heather. Yes, Heather. He picked you. Now please stop. Yeah, his name's Hot David. Part two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Okay. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Most likely to escape person is Jennifer. What is she else? What else is she good at? Nothing else. Okay, Jennifer should Jennifer. do that. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the bank keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so it'll probably be easier that way. Okay. That is part four. This plan is impressive. This is a very detailed plan. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing oh, okay. great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between Hot David. Who is it again? Hot David. Cynthia. No. Scott. It's just hot David. hot David. He's the most likely to become an Olympic athlete. <laughs> yeah, you uh you spend a lot of time running shirtless. Hmm? You got this, hot David. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof, a runner distracts the killer while we grab the band keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. 
Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling. Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Lisa didn't even get a. She didn't even get a vote for most likely to win worst poker face. I we know this is the most likely to win the award for worst poker face, so Cynthia would be a bad actor. Tammy got one vote, so it's got to be Lisa. She didn't get a single vote. Yeah, it's Lisa. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of Okay, people. cool. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. Uh-oh. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be... Who have we got? Chad. Scott. Who should drive the van? Oh shit! Most likely to pass their driving test without any errors. Jimmy. Jimmy's not on here. Oscar, most likely to beat everyone at car carding. Scott. No, 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 no. No, 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 I meant to put Scott. No, I clicked the wrong. It didn't let me. Oh, fuck. She's gonna. They're all gonna die. I can't go back. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. I chose Cynthia and she had one. Maybe I'll still get it because it was only one that was wrong. Surely it was just one thing I got wrong, so they're fine. And you had to have gotten like two things wrong, probably. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. If you're just tuning in, uh, we're coming to you live with a Yeah, I know I see number ten. I didn't even realize there was a back to it. Listener discretion is This could have helped with some of the other are questions. You ready, we're good to go, Forrest. Good luck. Good luck. Godspeed. They're gonna crash. They're gonna crash. Water, to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter says go. Keys, Carrie. You need to get the van. Keys. Carrie got the keys. Faces lying next to him, Forrest. He got caught. Oh God. Focus. Breathe. We don't care what happened. He's dead. Right. The van keys. Surely we're good. Oh, maybe we're good. I can't it's if I chose Scott, he would have You're crashed. Great. Focus, you got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else, hide. Okay, performer. Oh, Lisa also was the most likely to win an Oscar. We just happened to get that. Now, push the bookshelf over. Oh my God, he went through the floor. Oh, nice.
Uh oh, if they crash, this is gonna be so sad after all this work because I misclicked. Uh-oh. Carrie's gonna die? Carrie! What was that? Carrie sacrificing herself? How come Carrie wasn't a part of the friends quiz, by the way? Such a classic, Ultima. Yikes. Carrie's dead. Carrie? <sighs> Long depressed pain sigh. He just, he just stared at me. Oh. Carrie? He didn't kill her? Wait a second. Because she's new? Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? Plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. It was a great plan. Don't forget Jeannie. Her friendship quiz saved the day. <laughs> I told you she was the best. I need to get home. Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. I think they made it out. You probably had to fail multiple parts oh, of that. that was, uh... We just saved. Okay. We did kill three or four people in a row, or three people, because one of them was fake. But we just saved a whole frat house worth of people. I'd say we made up for it. And stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Play some music for you, Carrie. All right, I think I'm gonna call it there. So I've almost been it's almost been four hours. It's getting a little bit late and I'm starving. Hey, call come in. Save game. I think it's already saved, but Yeah. It's pretty good. So made some good progress on this game and completed two other games that were really cool as well. I liked those games very much. So I hope